Hello and welcome one more time to Ultrasound Quick Lectures by RNA Blue Zone Worlds. My name is Alain Fernandez and today I'm going to talk about dynamic range. Well, the dynamic range is one of the receiver functions with the uh, great uh, utility when you're working uh, because, you know, the dynamic range is going to change the contrast and the contrast resolution of your system. Like, for example, when you're working, doing vascular, you prefer more contrast, which is basically saying more um, black and white, which is not the real term. It's like saying uh, more brightness and less brightness, okay? And then when you are working, let's say, for example, looking for the liver, you prefer to use more shades of grays. And dynamic range is the one that is going to adjust all of this. So thinking dynamic range as available choices. All right, thinking available choices. And it goes like this. This is a nice way uh, to remember how the dynamic range works. So, well, I have more dynamic range, that means I have more shades of grays that means I have more contrast resolution But this means less contrast. See, these terms are pretty similar when it comes to their names, but they're actually opposite. Okay, now it comes this other way. So, well, if dynamic range goes low, then I have, therefore, I have less available choices. It's like saying, well, I have less shades of grays. And I have less contrast resolution. And then I have more contrast. Okay, the first case, this one here, number one, it will be more suitable when you're working in the lever because you want more shades of praise, okay? But the second case in here, this one, it will be more suitable when you're working in vascular because you want more contrast between the intima and the interior of the vessel in case you're looking for any lesion, for any plaque. Now I'm going to move to my machine, to my screen in here, and I'm going to show you these two cases in a real life example, okay? So you guys can understand this very well. Yeah, I wanted to. I want you to take a look to the dynamic range. It's this function right here, and I'm gonna take a picture right now with a very low dynamic range. Let me optimize the depth in this picture. All right, now my dynamic range is gonna go down. What do I expect? I expect less shades of praise, less contrast resolution, but more contrast. And this is what is gonna happen right now. Take a look to what is this dynamic range. It's going down, going down, it's going down. There we go, I have more contrast right now, but less contrast resolution, that's what's going on. I'm gonna compare doing uh, two screens in here. Okay, this one is 
low contrast resolution, high contrast. And this one here, I will adjust it for you. I will increase the dynamic range. What do I expect? I expect here more shades of grays, more contrast resolution, and less contrast. See how the dynamic range is going up? All right, now compare the two pictures in here. So right here we have a high contrast with low contrast resolution. Right here we have high contrast resolution with low contrast. And that was it for today. Thank you and stay connected. We're going to have more uh, quick lectures like this one. Thank you.